Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this little girl's cable cardigan. So this cardigan can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your cardigan you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain and we are going to chain 56. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 56. So I have just finished making my foundation chain of 56 and now we are ready to move on to round one. So we are now on to round one of our cardigan and round one is just a simple round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into every single chain and we're going to do our first double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain. So yarn over and go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain. And now yarn over and go down into the next chain. And do one into this one. And then do the same thing into the next chain. And just keep doing this all the way along for round one. One double crochet into each and every chain. So I have finished working that all the way along for round one and at the end of this round you should have 55 double crochets and I would recommend just quickly going back and double checking that you do have 55 and if you do we are ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now we're going to start off by going down into this first stitch here as our chain one did not count as a stitch. So we're going to go down into this very first stitch and do one double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet into this one. And now into the next stitch, we are going to do two double crochets, both into this one. So yarn over and go down into the next stitch and do one. And then do two. So do a second one back down into this same stitch. So there we have done one double crochet into the first stitch and two double crochets into the next one. And then into this next stitch here, we are going to do a front post double crochet. So usually when we work double crochets, we yarn over and go down into the top of the stitch here. But for a front post double crochet, you do not want to do that. You want to yarn over and go down into the space right before that double crochet. So this space here, so we're going to go down into the space before that double crochet, go around the back 
and come out in the space after it. So we're going in before the double crochet, going around the back and coming out after it. And you should now find that you have that stitch on your hook. So I'll do that again. You want to yarn over and instead of going down into the top of the stitch here, go down into the space right before it, come around the back and come out after it. And then you should have that stitch on your hook. And now you just want to work a double crochet as normal. So yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. And there we have done a front post double crochet. And this makes that stitch stick out a little bit. And this is what is going to give us our cable effect throughout our cardigan. So there we have done one double crochet into the first stitch, two into the next, and then a front post double crochet around the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round two. We're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch, two into the next, and then a front post double crochet around the next one, then one double crochet into the next stitch, two into the next, front post double crochet, and just keep repeating this all the way around for round two. So we're going to go into this next stitch here after the front post double crochet. So go into this next one, yarn over, and go down into this stitch here, and do one double crochet and then yarn over and go into the next one and do two double crochets both into this stitch like that and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around this next one so yarn over and go in before this stitch Go around the back and come out after it and then just work a double crochet as normal. So there we have repeated that again and we're going to do it again. Yarn over and go down into this next stitch here and do one double crochet and then do two both into the next one. And then yarn over, go in before the next stitch, around the back and out after it, and do a front post double crochet. And just keep repeating this all the way along. So I am just coming to the end of round two. So I have worked that all the way along and this is what you should have. So I have done my last front post double crochet at the end here. And then you should find that you have one last stitch at the end. And we're going to yarn over and go down into this last stitch. And this one can be a little bit tricky to get into and work one double crochet. So we're finishing off with one double crochet at the end of the round. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, you want to chain one and turn. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now yarn over and go down into this very first stitch here and do one double crochet. So there we have done one double crochet into that first stitch there. And now we have reached the last front post double crochet from last round. And we're going to do a 
back post double crochet around this stitch. So last round in round two we worked front post double crochets and in round three instead of front post double crochets we are going to work a stitch called back post double crochets. So what you want to do is yarn over and go around the back of your work. So take your hook around the back and come out in the space right before that stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go around the back and come out in the space right before that stitch. Go over the top and go back out in the space after it. And then I have that stitch on my hook, but it's kind of back to front. So last time I had the stitch on my hook, but it was at the front. But now we have this, the hook going along the back of our work. And now you want to do a double crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, and then the final two. And there we have done a back post double crochet around that front post double crochet from last round. And now into the next stitch, we're going to yarn over, go down into this stitch and do one double crochet. And then yarn over and go down into the next one and do one double crochet into this one. But then into the next stitch, we are going to do two double crochets. So do two both into this stitch here. So there we have two double crochets into that stitch. And now we have reached the next front post double crochet from last round. And just like before, we're going to do a back post double crochet around this stitch. So yarn over and put your hook around the back of the work and come out in the space right before that stitch. So here we have the stitch that we want to work around. So we have come out in the space right before it, go over the stitch and then go out in the space after that stitch. And there you should have that stitch on your hook when you turn it over and you want to yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through the final two. So there we have done a back post double crochet around that stitch, and now yarn over and go into the next stitch here, and do one double crochet, and then do one into the next one, but then into the next stitch here, do two double crochets, both into this one, like that. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round three. We're going to do back post double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, back post double crochet, one, one, two, back post, one, one, two, all the way around. So yarn over, go in before this stitch and out after it, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and pull through the final two on your hook. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch, one into the next, and then do two both down into this next stitch here. So there we have repeated that again and we're just going to keep repeating that all the way along.
So I have just finished working that all the way along for round three and I finished off by doing a back post double crochet, then one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets. So I worked two double crochets into the last stitch at the end and now we are ready to move on to round four. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and we are going to start off by yarning over and going down into this first stitch and doing one double crochet into this one. So do one double crochet into the very first stitch and then do one double crochet into the next one and then one double crochet into the third one along. So we're doing three double crochets, one into each stitch to start and now into the next stitch do two double crochets both into this one like that. So there we've done one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets and now we have reached our first back post double crochet from last round and in this round, in round four, we're going to go back to working with front post double crochets. So we are going to do a front post double crochet around this stitch here. So yarn over and go down in before the stitch, around the back and come out after it, and then do a double crochet. So do a front post double crochet around that one and now we're going to repeat that all again. Yarn over and go down into the next stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one into the second one along and one into the third and then into the next one do two double crochets. So there we have one, 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 two and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around this back post from last round. So yarn over, go in before the stitch, around the back and out after it and do a front post double crochet and you just want to keep repeating that all the way along for round four. We're going to do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, front post, one, 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 two, front post, one, 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 two, front post, all the way around. So I'm just coming to the end of round four. So I have done a front post around this stitch here and then you should have one last stitch to work into at the end and yarn over, go down into this stitch and do one double crochet. And there we have finished round four and now we're ready to move on to round five. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now yarn over, go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet into this one. So there we have a double crochet into that first stitch and now we have reached the first front post double crochet from last round and in round five we are going to be working with back post double crochets again and we are going to work a back post double crochet around this first stitch. So yarn over, go around the back of the work, go in before this stitch, so this is the first front post double crochet that we meet, go over the top of it and back out after the stitch and work a back post double crochet 
just as we did before in round three. So there we have done a back post around that first front post double crochet there. And now we're going to do four double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So yarn over and go into this first stitch after that one that we just worked. So go into this one and do one double crochet and then do one into the next one and one into the third one and then fourth so we're doing four double crochets one into each stitch and then into the next stitch here do two double crochets both into this one so like that and we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round five we're going to do a back post double crochet then one, two, three, four double crochets, and then two into the next stitch. Then back post double crochet, one, two, three, four double crochets, then two into the next one. And just keep repeating this all the way so along. So I have just finished working that all the way along for round five, and now we're ready to move on to round six. So to begin round six, chain one and turn. And for round six, we are going to do one double crochet into six stitches and then a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So we're going to do six double crochets, front post double crochet, six double crochets, front post double crochet, all the way along. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and do one double crochet, then do one into the next, and just keep doing this until you have six. Like that. So there I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And now yarn over and go in before this next stitch, around the back and out after, and do a front post double crochet, like that. And now we're just going to repeat that again. Yarn over and go into the next stitch here and do one double crochet. And keep going until you have six. So like that, so there I have six double crochets and now do a front post double crochet around this next one and just keep repeating this all the way along for round six. So I have finished working that all the way along for round six. So I did my last front post double crochet and then I finished off by doing one double crochet into this last stitch at the very end here. And now we're ready to move on to round seven. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and we are going to go down into this first stitch and do one double crochet. And in round seven, we are going to do one back post double crochet and then six double crochets, then back post double crochet, six double crochets all the way along. So yarn over, go around the back, come out in front of the first stitch here. So the first stitch that we want to do a back post double crochet around, then go over it and come out after and do one back post double crochet like that and now we're going to do six double crochets so yarn over and go down into this next stitch here and do one and just keep going until you have six like that and now we have reached our next front post double crochet here and we're going to do a back post double crochet around it so yarn over go around the back 
come out right before the stitch and go out after it and do a back post. And now we're going to do six more double crochets and just continue this all the way around for round seven. So these rounds are a little bit simpler now. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round seven. So I did my last back post double crochet and then I did double crochets to the end. And at the end of this round, this is what you should have. And now in round eight, we are going to be turning our big loop that we have here into a cardigan shape. So to do that, we're going to work along a certain number of stitches for the first half of the front, then skip a number of stitches for the armhole, then work along another number of stitches for the back, skip some stitches for the other armhole, and then work along some more stitches, so another number of stitches for the other half of the front. And that is how we're going to be turning our big circle into a cardigan shape. So to begin round eight, you want to chain one and turn. And as usual, this does not count as a stitch. So now we are going to start off by doing five double crochets or one double crochet into each of the first five stitches. So yarn over and go down into this one and do one double crochet, then do one into the next and just keep doing this until you have five. like that and then into this next stitch we're going to do two double crochets so one and two like that and now we're going to do a front post double crochet so yarn over go down before out after and do a front post double crochet. So there we have done five double crochets, two into the next, and then a front post double crochet. And we're going to do that two more times for the first half of the front of our cardigan. So go and do five double crochets. like that and then in the next stitch do two both into this one so there we have two both into that next stitch and then finally do a front post double crochet so there we have our first repeat so do that one more time and that will make the first half of the front of the cardigan. So there I have done that second repeat. So there we have three sets of those stitches for the first half of the front. And now we're going to move on to the very first armhole. And for this armhole, we're going to skip 21 stitches. So you want to count one, two, three, four, all the way up to 21. So I have counted and this is my 21st stitch here. So this raised stitch here is our 21st one. And we're going to skip that one and then into the next stitch. So this would be the 22nd stitch along. We're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over and go down into this next stitch. So skip the 21st one and go into the next one. Pull your work together and do a nice neat double crochet like that. And there you can see we have created our first armhole. So now we are on to the back of our cardigan and for the back we're going to be working in the same sets as we were just doing here. Do five double crochets, two into the next, and then a front post double crochet. So the exact same thing as we were doing for the front, but for the back, we need to have six sets. 
sets. So six sets of those stitches in total. So here we have our first double crochet of the back. So then do our second one into the next stitch and a third into the next, fourth and fifth, like that. And then do two double crochets both down into this next stitch. So there we have five double crochets, two into the next, and then do a front post double crochet. So there we have one set, and like I said, we need six. So do th that set of stitches five more times for the back. So there I have finished doing those six sets for the back. So I have finished off with a front post double crochet. And now we're going to move on to the next armhole. And we're going to do the exact same thing as the last one. We're going to skip 21 stitches. So count one, two, three, four, all the way up to 21. So this is our 21st stitch here, this raised one. And we're going to skip that one and then yarn over and go into the next stitch. So this would be the 22nd one along. So go into this stitch and pull your work nice and tightly together and work a double crochet like that. And there we have finished doing the other armhole. And now for the rest of um, this round, you just want to continue working those sets. So I have finished working that all the way along for round eight. So I did my last set and then I worked one last double crochet at the end here. And there you can see we have added in our shape. We have a back, two armholes and then two front pieces. And now we're ready to move on to round nine. So to begin round nine, chain one and turn. And for this round, we're going to go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet down into this first stitch. And now in round nine, we're going to be using back post double crochets. So do a back post double crochet around this next stitch here. Like that. And now you want to do seven double crochets. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there we have seven double crochets. So we have done back post double crochet, then seven double crochets, and just repeat this all the way along. We're going to do a back post double crochet around this next stitch here, and doing the front post and back post stitches is what is giving us this nice cable effect. So we're going to go around the back, up in front, across, and then work a back post double crochet and then do one double crochet into the next stitch and just keep going until you have seven and just keep repeating that all the way around back post double crochet seven double crochets back post seven back post seven so i have just finished working that all the way along for round nine and now we're ready to move on to round 10. So to begin round 10, chain one and turn. And for this round, it's very similar to last round, but we are going to do seven double crochets and then a front post double crochet. So seven double crochets, front post double crochet, all the way around. So start off by doing your seven double crochets to begin. So like that, so do seven double crochets 
And now we're going to do a front post double crochet. And just continue this all the way along. Seven front post, seven front post. So I'm coming to the end of round 10. So I'm going to do a front post double crochet to finish. And then one last double crochet in this final stitch at the end. So there we have finished round 10. And now for the rest of the length of our cardigan, we're just going to repeat the last two rounds that we just did. So rounds nine and 10, again and again and again. So we have just finished round 10. So now you want to do round nine again, then round 10, then 9, 10, 9, 10, until you have the length that you want. So for round 9, you chain 1 and turn, and then you'll do a double crochet into this first stitch here, and then do back post double crochet, 7 double crochets, all the way along, and then for round 10, chain 1 and turn, and then you want to do 7 double crochets, front post double crochet, seven double crochets, front post double crochet, all the way along and then finish off with one last double crochet at the end. And of course you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to, but just keep repeating rounds nine and 10 until you have the length that you so want. So I have finished repeating those rounds and I have the length cardigan that I want. And then when I got to the end, I fastened off and then weaved all of my ends nice and securely into the inside. And then I added a button on the top on the right hand side here. And then I just used the spaces in between the stitches on the opposite side as button loops. But you could make little button chains if you wanted. And I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and in the description box below this video I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account so if you would like to go and follow me on there I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials and I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well and in the description box I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested and thank you again for watching. Bye.